Hey guys, what is up? Holly Wolf here. So Tim at Sometimes Pops asked me to announce his 200 subscriber giveaway. Coming really soon. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Hey guys, Sometimes Pops here and this is the long-awaited Pez video. So... <clears throat> I've noticed that a lot of you have uh, noticed me saying that I was a Pez collector and I'm really into the Funko Pop Pez and uh, I decided to go through all of the Funko Pop Pez that I have collected to date. And this might be a bit of a long video so what I'm going to do is just simply go through one by one each Pez that I have collected to date. So why don't we get started, there's a lot to cover. As you all know, I showed this Captain Crunch Pop Pez that was a custom by Glitter Pop Addict on my last video. So we'll just start there to get that one out of the way. Next up, we're gonna go into these. I will not be opening these, so that's why I'm gonna cover these first because Funko put the stickers on the outside of the box. Um, outside of the plastic, I mean. So this is the Pop Pez and T-shirt of the classic Pez characters, the police boy, the fireman, or the policeman, the fireman, and the Pez boy. There's a better look at the items included in this specialty box here. And yeah. Next up we have the other two specialty Funko shirt plus pop Pez Quisp and Quake. So these are, again, Funko Shop limited edition items direct from the Funko Shop. Each comes with a Pop Pez of its own as, long, as well as a t-shirt. This is the Quisp t-shirt here. This is the Quake t-shirt with the Quake character. This is the Quisp Pop Pez with the Quisp t-shirt. Now the Quisp t-shirt is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I've been very tempted to open these, but I think I'm going to keep them in package. Um, just to be safe, I don't necessarily want to crack them open for a couple minutes of satisfaction and then regret not having them in package later. So, I will show you what I'm dealing with from a Pop Pez standpoint. This entire thing is filled with Pop Pez. The whole thing, from top to bottom. So I'm just going to start plucking from the top and uh, Eventually, we'll hit the bottom. Now, these aren't in any particular order. Uh, I have not grouped them by, you know, superhero, Marvel, DC, uh, outside character, anything like that. So, we're just going to go one by one and go right through them. So, right here, you have the original Hulk pop Pez that they came out with. This is not the Chase version. You will see the Chase version later. But that is the Hulk Ragnarok. Looks exactly like the Hulk Ragnarok Funko Pop. Very nice detail on there. They did a very nice job with this Pop Pez. The box is blue. It's got sort of that, sort of that Ragnarok Guardians of the Galaxy style uh, interstellar design on the box. And uh, one of the things you'll notice as we go through this video is that they did an incredible job making the boxes um, very aesthetically pleasing to the character that's inside, meaning that the boxes are different. They have all different color boxes. I love the box design. I think this was the presentation that Pez is missing. Um, if Pez could maybe package their dispensers and something like this, they could probably sell them at a higher price point and uh, also collectors, I think, would be really into that as well. So this is the Star Wars Bosque. Funko Pop Pez, okay, and there is a vaulted Star Wars Bosque Funko Pop, which I also have, and he's got that sharp teeth, and the Star Wars boxes are a bit different because they're all white, as you can see, um, they have some characters here that sort of jut out, which is a bit different compared to some of the other ones that they've come out with. Next, we have Secret Squirrel. This is part of the um, Secret Squirrel, Hanna-Barbera Secret Squirrel Morocco Mole set. 
So this is a secret squirrel. Basically a squirrel with uh, a little bit of his identity being hidden there. Hence the secret squirrel part. Nice cool purple box there. Again, it pops out. Really nice display piece. I like the white stem on him against the purple. I think that was a good contrast for them to choose. And so that is secret squirrel. Next we have Morocco Mole. Might as well keep it in the series here. There's Morocco Mole. I love this one because of the fez that he's wearing. Uh, some of you have seen the Sicko Shriner, which has the same same headwear on a headgear on the fez. So that is Morocco Mole. Little picture of him there up in the upper right hand, upper left hand corner of the actual Hanna-Barbera character, and I think they captured him uh, very nice. And again, you have a different color box. Really pops, stands out against that blue stem. And uh, they give him the blue stem because of the blue sweater here, right here, you can see that. So really stayed true to the character, which is neat. So that was Morocco Mole. Uh, next up, we'll do some DC. We got Batman, we got Robin. Stay tuned a little later. You will see the chase for the Batman. And they're coming out with... They just came out with Hot Topic exclusive Robin Funko Pops. That came out really well. I like that they have the city skyline here. They got the blue box for Batman and the yellow box for Robin. Yellow and green, which is yellow, green, and red, which are his classic colors up here. And obviously the blue and yellow here for the classic Batman. So those two are also very cool really like those next up i got some more superhero style ones so we'll go through those we have thor thor funko pop pez thor ragnarok got the awesome war gladiator helmet on similar to the hulk when they battle got again the really nice bright blue box and that is thor sorry about the glare everybody and um yeah, black stem on him. So that's Thor. I'm going to move through these rather quickly because I have a lot of them. There's Yondu from original Guardians of the Galaxy. This is one of the first Funko Pop Pez that they came out with, with the first line. I like how he has the larger mohawk in this one. I think that's really, really cool. And Yondu, definitely one of my favorite characters from the Guardians of the Galaxy. In fact, probably one of my favorite characters in the MCU uh, for the first 10 years. So... Definitely cool. Glad to have him as well. Next, we're going to go into some of the Pez that they came out with, um, which were some of the original exclusives that they came out with for the Funko Pop Pez. And these were the store exclusive Deadpools. So you have here the black and red Deadpool Pop Pez. Really sharp looking. This was a box lunch exclusive. And then you have the blue and yellow, again, really sharp looking, and it looks real nice with that yellow Hot Topic exclusive sticker. So you got the blue and yellow and the red and black box lunch and Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop Pez. Some of the favorites in my collection, the whole Deadpool Pop Pez series, because they're just really nice looking. I have another, uh, another Deadpool box lunch. Next up, just kind of grabbing out of the box. Next up, we have Magneto. Magneto, definitely one of my favorite characters from the X-Men. Um, I grew up on the 92 X-Men cartoon, and that was really... I was never a comic book, comic book guy, and this was really my uh, total fascination where that started with superheroes was definitely the 92 X-Men. So this one kind of means a lot to me as well. Uh, next we're going to do, I actually have a couple that are unwrapped or not even unwrapped yet. So, uh, I'll see if I can get these unwrapped for you real quick. So I don't take too much time and, uh, we'll go from there. It should be rather quick to unwrap these and So there's the first one unwrapped, and that is Rose from the Golden Girls, another show that I grew up with. Rose from the Golden Girls. 
Let's see if I can get a little bit closer here so the glare's not as bad. Played by Betty White, I believe. And uh, yeah, just a cool box. Very different from the other Pop Pez boxes. Got that very white sort of pink and baby blue to it. Um, really nice. Really nice job they did with the Golden Girls. So that's Rose. Apologize in advance if this is a rather longer video, but for the people that really want to see a lot of the pop heads that have come out to date, this this video will benefit you, especially if you're trying to collect them. Um, and the next one we have is Blanche. So Blanche Devereaux, you guys remember the show at all? She was sort of the promiscuous one of the four. She always had a new boyfriend. She was very loud and and sort of out there um, and just created a lot of fun to that show that I think without her would have would have been lost. Betty White's character in Golden Girls was sort of the aloof, uh, somewhat ditzy kind of friend that, you know, had the biggest heart in the world, but was kind of on the slow, like slower side <laughs> um, in terms of just kind of catching on to things and uh, being a little bit gullible and naive. Blanche was sort of the one with the edge, the bad girl, if you will, uh, always had the new boyfriend. Um, Dorothy, in my opinion, was sort of the the uh, intermediary there. She was sort of the straight, the, the straight laced character that would control um, Rose and Blanche and keep them out of trouble and, and, you know, give them advice if she saw them going down some crazy roads. I do not have uh, Dorothy or Sophia yet, but they are favorites of mine. Sophia, especially cute old lady. Um, so I hope to get those very soon. Next up, we're going to do two more Star Wars. Got the Tusken Raider and we have the Jawa, right? So these were the sand people that were in the original trilogy movie movies. Um, the Jawas were the ones that found uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO and helped them get fixed, and the Tusken Raiders were the ones that attacked them. So those are the two. See, they got the pictures on the side. So these are a set. Obviously, these are these are both the the ones from the set. And we got the Jawa and the Tusken Raider. Next up, we have a very cool limited edition set. This one came out on Funko Shop not too long ago. And it is the limited edition 2500 piece Huckleberry Hound multicolor variant set. Uh, if you guys watch the Funko documentary you will know that the new owner of Funko his favorite character from Hanna-Barbera was Huckleberry Hound and so that's why I think you see these um, being made into specialty sets because they are extra special to the owner so I love the colors that they did on these I like that they did the solid um, color scheme between the head and the stem I think it pops out even more against sort of that lighter muted background and these are a beautiful addition to my Pez collection as well as my Funko collection. Um, and I love the fact that they put the 2500 limited sticker on those. So that's the Huckleberry Hound limited edition color variant set. There might be some repeats in here, so I'll try to avoid that. Next up, we got the Masters of the Universe Skeletor. Not the Chase version. Currently working out a trade to acquire that, but nonetheless, the detail is fantastic on this. They did an incredible job. Masters of the Universe, kind of a stony pattern on the box. Very, very cool. Really like that. Next up, you have Snagglepuss from the Pink Panther, which uh, was another favorite Hanna-Barbera cartoon of mine when I was younger. Very cool, very cool. So there you go, there's Snagglepuss, there is 
Next up, we have an ad icon. Jean Lafitte. Jean Lafitte. This one came out not too long ago. There's the character up there. Jean Lafitte. They did a really nice job with this as well. Uh, they have a pop for this as well. I believe it looks exactly the same. Um, but that that's just a really cool pop Pez as well. I like that one a lot. It's John Lafitte. Then we have the... Got a couple repeats here. I might actually try to take these repeats out of the box and keep them separate so I know what I'm working with. But these are two repeats I showed you, Boss and Robin. Uh, next up, we have a really cool set. Um, where's that other one that I just had? This is a cool one. Uh, there actually is another one that I'm, uh, there it is. Okay, so I'll try to hold all these up at once. It might be a little hard, but uh, you know what? We'll do one at a time. So this is the Nightmare Before Christmas set. There's your Jack Skellington. And these came in these nice darker boxes with the, with the sort of luminescent green kind of flare to it. Got the Nightmare Before Christmas there. And that is Jack Skellington. Then we have the Corpse Bride or Sally. There's Sally. Again, same box, same color scheme there. Really cool. There's Sally. Next up, we have the Vampire Teddy. So there's a Vampire Teddy. Really cool. Did a nice job there. And then you have Pumpkin King. Nice little sinister face on him. Really like that one a lot. Sorry, the glare is kind of horrendous here. But there he is there. Okay. And finally, we have the Glow in the Dark Oogie Boogie. You guys may have seen this on Quick Draw's channel. I threw this in a, uh, a giveaway box for him. And uh, this is one of my favorites. I mean, the detail on the face is really nice. The Oogie Boogie detail there. And uh, they got like all the little stitching, stitching marks in there for him and everything. So it really came out really nice. And this one glows in the dark. I have not tested the glow on this one, so I don't really know how good it is. But supposedly it glows in the dark. Not exactly uh, certain how well, but I do have a couple of the... I do have a couple of the Oogie Boogies, actually. Um, let me see if I can get these to be displayed all at once for you guys real quick. This is not as easy as it looks, trust me. And oh, it, looks like, it looks like five might be the max that I can try to squeeze together all at one time, so we'll do this. And that is the Nightmare Before Christmas set, the Pop Pez set right there, including the Glow in the Dark Boogie Boogie. And uh, that's a really nice set. Next up, we got a couple more that are still in the bubble wrap, so I'll keep those uh, until later. <sighs> got another double Oogie Boogie. Next up, we have the variant version of Captain Crunch with the blue stem. So, you've seen the regular version with the white stem. This is the blue stem. And that is the variant Captain Crunch version. Blue stem. Really cool. like those a lot. They also came out with uh, one recently... That is going to have a, another different kind of stem on it. This is Sonic the Hedgehog. They did a real nice job with that guy as well. All the detail is there. 
and uh, yeah, it's awesome. Let me see if I can angle my thing down here a little bit, a little bit better, because this glare is killing me, honestly. All right, let's try that. All right, that's a bit better. A little bit better. It's really the box that's causing the glare, but there's Sonic. Next up, we got. This is one of the coolest ones, in my opinion. This is actually a custom, in a way. So these are the two Bob Ross. There's your Bob Ross, happy little tree, happy little squirrel. Rest in peace, Bob Ross. Uh, he's making a comeback, Bob Ross, for the younger generation. They're starting to catch on to how uh, how relaxing he is to watch. I mean, I used to watch him and get so relaxed because he was just so ridiculously calm about everything. But if you can see these paintings inside, uh, I covered these on one of my earliest videos that I posted, and these are actual wooden pieces, okay? So it's actually a, a one piece, wooden piece. You can see they're kind of like easels in the back, All right? So you can see, you can see the back there. It's kind of made out of one and then two. Somebody on eBay custom made these little paintings to go along specifically with the Bob Ross Pop Pez. So those are super, super cool. And I got one for each of the different stem colors and it creates a really unique custom piece that uh, not many people will have. Next up, we got another ad icon, Captain Crunch. This is Crunchberry Monster. There he is there in the top right. And he looks exactly like the pop that they came out with for Crunchberry Monster. Really colorful box, bright yellow, part of the Captain Crunch set. Next up, we got Crash Bandicoot. Looks exactly like the pop again. You know, th this was really smart by Funko because all they had to do essentially... All they had to do, essentially, to um, make these pop heads were to scale down the original prototypes because a lot of the, the, the molds on the heads are literally the exact same thing as the pops. So they just had to scale down, uh, you know, so in their computer program, they could say, make me uh, this this pop head design 25% smaller and there you go you got the pop Pez. so great way to diversify uh, revenue stream for them with their partnership with Pez another extra Bob Ross here now we're gonna get into uh, another Pez that I wanted to go out and get a bunch of um, if you want one of these get at me uh, maybe we could work out a trade or something but this would be the Stan Lee. So rest in peace, Stan Lee. It's got his signature on there and really captures Stan's likeness a lot. Very cool, very similar to the pops that have come out. But I was happy to grab that one because um, just really nice to have Stan. I don't have any Stan Lee pops, so. It was nice to have Stan in some form. Um, I have quite a few stands, actually. I have six of them. So uh, I, I went out and I bought a ton of them after he passed away. I actually had four Stan Lees before he passed away, and then I bought like two, two more. So there's another Stan. Now that the new Funko app is out, you can log your pop heads. So if anybody's looking for pop heads, I will be actively updating my profile on the Funko app. I believe my username has changed, so I need to find out what that is now and post it in the description below. But feel free to go look. You could probably sort by pop heads, uh, which is an amazing feature because before I kept buying them. And that's why I ended up with so many duplicates, because I would sock them away immediately in my collection. I would forget that I had them. I had a lot on pre-order that sort of trickled in over so many different months that, you know, I would get, for example, I got the Crunchberry Monster, I think, at a store a month after I pre-ordered it. But I didn't get that pre-order for a month after that. So I ended up getting a bunch in that I had already. 
So I ended up with a bunch of duplicates. So if anybody's interested in Papa's, you know, get at me. I probably have a lot more than most. So <sighs> besides like specific Pez collectors. Next up, we have the amazing specialty series limited uh, 3,200 piece, which is a, an odd limit number. Um, but what's really kind of unique about this one is that the you can see that three of these have the Funko Shop sticker. And you have Loki, Star Lord, Hulk Ragnarok, and Thor Ragnarok in the gold patina. Um, not as shiny as the gold chrome that you would see on the Funko Pops, but... You can see here that three have the Funko Shop sticker, while this one has the Marvel Collector Core sticker. So had I not been a member of the Marvel Collector Core, I would not have known that there was an additional gold pop to this series, and I would have missed out on Hulk, my man, right here. So I'm really glad that I just happened to get that in one of their subscription boxes. Uh, that was actually the movie moment where Whiplash is, is fighting Iron Man on the, uh, on the raceway. And they included this um, amazing Hulk Marvel Collector Core Pez with it. So I was super, super stoked when I saw that because I didn't even know I didn't even know that was coming out. So um, probably so far for the Funko Pop Pez, the most expensive pieces that they've come out with were they came out with four different stem variants of freddy funko uh it's like a purple and orange uh yellow and a green i think those are averaging on average about 125 dollars to around 175 dollars a piece currently very limited i believe they were only i think limited to a thousand or fifteen hundred hence the price and then there's another one that i probably won't ever see which is a gold huckleberry hound and i think that might have been limited to 500 or maybe even less and that's currently going for 275 dollars so those five pez um if, unless i work out some kind of awesome epic deal with somebody uh, i don't know if i'll be able to ever get those for my collection because they're just out of my budget and then if you guys recall uh GameStop towards the end of the year had some had some mystery boxes. Uh, a lot of people bought them for the pops that came in them, which were, were some included the Goofy, the Goof Troop, uh, and the Angela from Gargoyles. But what I didn't know about them, I was gonna skip I was gonna skip over them completely. But what I didn't know was that they were also gonna be including the monsters cereals. Uh, in those now what's unique about these obviously not just the GameStop only exclusive sticker so you have the Frankenberry Fruit Brute Yummy Mummy Count Chocula and Boo Berry okay just awesome 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 really love these characters remind me of my childhood could never get these cereals because my mom wouldn't buy anything with marshmallows in it so kind of cool as an adult I can go back and get them because I feel like it so we have that entire set and these came as part of the uh, GameStop uh, year-end mystery boxes. And it was very cool for me as a Pez collector because a lot of those people that went out and got those mystery boxes were looking specifically for the uh, Goof Troop and Max chases and all that. So I could care less. I was like, you know what? You're going to sell the rest of the contents of that box for 10 bucks. I'll take it. So I get all these like, you know, little tchotchkes in that box plus the Pop Pez that was really the focus for me that I wanted to begin with uh, for pretty good prices. Because as you guys know, a lot of the times what you'll see is these subscription boxes. Uh, you know, I had the Venom, I got a bunch of subscription boxes and you get all these little trinkets. And a lot of the times that people just take the pop out and they don't care about the rest of the stuff. I tend to use those uh, little inclusion items as giveaway items because I think they're a lot of fun usually. Um, those particular GameStop mystery boxes uh, had some crap in them. Honestly, they put like a little tiny pin in it. And uh, I think it had, I want to say it had socks in it. I can't remember. All right, so we got some doubles here now. We got Cable and, oh, Cable's not a double. I haven't shown him yet. So he's an awesome, awesome character. He just made his debut cinematically in Deadpool 2, played by none other than Thanos himself. Josh Brolin, my man from Goonies. So happy to see that he kind of grew up and 
is an older man now and he's making movies in the Marvel Universe, which is where I'm at looking at stuff. And uh, it's so cool that I could see him play one of these classic characters from the 92 X-Men uh, comic, uh, I mean cartoon and obviously comics. But Cable is a time traveling, uh, I don't even know, a cop almost, if you will. But if you saw Deadpool 2, uh, he plays that. He also obviously is Thanos. Star Lord. Marvel Star Lord. One of the original sets that had come out uh, with Yondu and the rest of them. So there is Star Lord from Marvel. And they did a nice job with that one too. Another Sonic. Another Batman. And here's a cool one. Here's a chase. So this is the Captain Crunch black and white version chase. This was the chase version for the original two set that came out for Cap uh, for Captain Crunch. He had in the other one, obviously, he had the blue and yellow. And this one, he's completely black and white, which I love. I love anything that's muted, negative, black and white like that. I think it's awesome. So that's so cool. It looks like a black and white television. Um, and then, obviously, you have the classic Funko Chase sticker there. Just like you would see on the Funko Pop. We have Loki. The nice horn helmet you've already seen the gold version of him nice bright fluorescent green stem on him and uh he's got the same box that the thor ragnarok and the hulk ragnarok have some other really cool ones here we got the entire Mega Man set thus far. We have the GameStop exclusive Glow in the Dark Gyro Attack Mega Man. We have the Red Mega uh, Magnet Missile Mega Man in the middle. And we have the classic blue Mega Man on the left hand side there. So there is the green, red, and blue Mega Man set. This one glows in the dark similar to Oogie Boogie. Uh, I have not tested the glow on these. I don't believe that the glow would be very good uh, unless probably under black light. So I would suggest uh, trying with a black light, you know, before you decide that the glow isn't worth your time. Similar with the pops where some pops are just garbage uh, with a typical like turn the lights off, see if it glows. But if you charge it a little bit with a LED light or you put it in front of a, a black light then the glows tend to work really well So again, uh, I went a little overboard when these first came out I did, wasn't sure how long of a release these would be so I, I wanted to go get quite a few and I was able to snag a bunch of the original Captain Crunch Pop Pez which as of right now are are probably pretty readily available but i will guarantee you these will not be readily a bit available for long the further uh the the more amount of time that we get between um when they originally came out and now uh the harder those will be to find all right so now i got three that are in protective cases here and these tend to be some of the harder ones to find. We have the Thor, or I'm sorry, the Hulk Ragnarok Glow Chase. So not only is this a limited chase, but it also glows in the dark. You can see where it probably glows in the head because the green on this one is much different than the regular one. The regular one also has a black stem. So they changed the stem to blue on this one. They changed the green in the face to probably facilitate the glow, I imagine. Um, but yeah, super, super cool. Very hard to find. Um, and I actually was in the store. I called Hot Topic when these first came out and I had already made probably 15 trips looking for a chase version of, you know, between Target and all the different stores looking for Captain Crunch chase, this chase. I called them up one day and they said, uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, we actually have one chase in the store. So if you want to come now, maybe you could get it literally was at that store 15 minutes later they sold it 
five minutes before I got there. I was like, what the hell, dude? That was a scummy move on their part. Um, so I ended up getting that later from a, I bought it. Next up, you have the Batman chase. So you have the Batman with the pink cowl um, instead of the typical black one that you saw earlier. What did I do with that? Maybe I can grab it. Yeah, there you go. So there's the two different versions of Batman. A lot of times what you'll see with these is that these are going to be bent when you get them. Um, it's hit or miss. This one's really crispy, so that's why I put it in the box. See how straight up that is? This one has a little bend to it. So there is the Batman pink and blue. Batman with Chase. Really cool set there. Love that. You know what I really like? How they put the the line on his nose and his eyebrows. Because that is very much how the original Batman, Adam West Batman uh, costume was. So I thought that was a really, really cool detail. And finally... This one is pretty hard to find. This is not only a Hot Topic exclusive, but is also the Hot Topic exclusive Chase. So if you remember earlier when I showed you, this is the Hot Topic exclusive Deadpool, and this is the Hot Topic exclusive Chase Deadpool. So obviously you can see that they're opposite color schemes. Sorry about that. Get the limited chase got the opposite color schemes there and again like i said earlier these make for really cool display pieces okay guys hey sorry so i'm back i actually ran out of uh storage space on my phone because this video is way too long and uh i found a couple other ones that i want to show you before i finish up so this is greedo i had this in a different box this is part of the bosk uh two-pack set uh here is bosk there's Greedo, there's Bosk, there's Greedo, and there's Bosk. So that is the Star Wars Greedo and Bosk. Goes along with the Jawa and the Tusken Raider 2 set. I also realized that I was looking for my regular colored red Deadpool, and it's right behind me. That's why I couldn't find it. So let me grab that real quick. We'll go through some of these. Trying not to damage anything all over the floor. Um, so this was a pocket pop display. Okay, well, Sean Ryan's uh, notification cut my video off. So here is the chase, or here is the out of box fireman Pez that comes with the special edition. This is the the boy Pez. These all actually have chase versions now. I'm trying to hunt for uh, the Pez boy chase is really cool. I think the policeman chase is really cool, and um, I gotta go find those as soon as possible. So here's the Yogi Bear chase. The regular Yogi Bear is green. I have not showed you that one yet. But he is... not unwrapped yet. That's the regular Yogi Bear. Here is also the Merman. Regular Masters of the Universe Merman. Not unwrapped. And then we have the one I was looking for, the original Red Deadpool. So yeah, it's very cool. Uh, if you watch my videos, you will know that I went on a haul the other day and I was able to pick up quite a few of the new Marvel ones. I got Beast Wolverine, Ghost Rider, uh, Ponda Boba, who also has a Chase variant. Uh, I hope Funko doesn't overdo it with the Chases with these because it would be so stupid to make that mistake twice. Um, in my opinion. So, cause they did that with Pops. I hope they don't do that with the Pop Pez. Uh, I got the Grape Ape. And then I just picked this one up today at Target of all places. I've never seen a Pop Pez at Target. And it looks like these almost kind of came in by accident with some of their Star Wars action figures. Cause I found them in the aisle. They were not with anything else. But that is the Low Gray, who I believe is a Ewok. There he is in the top there. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. Let's 
So that's the low gray there. Very cool. Little headdress on. And that's part of a series by itself, so. Anyway, um, I have a few more that are on order that should be in shortly. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I made a huge mess doing this, so I really hope you appreciate that. And uh, yeah, uh, I will show you what my floor looks like right now before I sign off. And there you have it. There's all the papes that I just showed you that I kind of had to throw on the floor as I showed you. So, uh, yeah. And there's some more over here on that shelf down there. Not sure if you can see that, but just exploding with papes up in this biatch. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Sometimes Pops, and I will see you guys all soon. Let me know what you thought about these pop heads in the comments below, and let me know which chases for the pop heads you're hunting for, and if you find any. Thanks again, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you all next time. Peace.